Let's start chapter 9. The sentences. So, a sentence can be framed only if we have placed each word in proper place. Like, full apples, the basket is off. Do these words make any sense? No. As these words are not placed in correct order. So, if we place them in correct order, like, the basket is full of apples. So, it makes sense. So, this is the sentence. So, how we can define sentence? A group of words that has a complete meaning, we call it a sentence. So, for making sentence, we have to remember three things. That first, the word should be placed in the correct order. Second, the sentence must begin with a capital letter. Third, it must end with a correct punctuation mark. Now, let's do the exercise. Here... You have to write these sentences again by correcting them. First one is already done. You have to take help of the first one and you can do other. Now look at these groups of words. At 10 o'clock for 2 hours. These group of words make sense, but not the complete sense. So, we call them our phrases. So, we can say that a sentence has a verb in it, but a phrase does not have. Let's come to the exercise. Here, we have to identify which one is the phrase and which one is sentence. This is the phrase. This is the sentence. This is the phrase. 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 This is the sentence. This is the sentence. And this is the sentence. Now come to B. Here, words are jumbled. So, we have to make them a sentence. First one is already done. Let's start with the second one. An elephant is a large animal. New Delhi is the capital of India. Gold floats on a water. We cannot live without water. Gandhiji was a great man. The sun rises in the east. The girl wore a red scarf. My mother gets up early in the morning. She washes cups and saucers after tea. Now come to see here. You have to put the underlined phrase in the right place to make the sentence meaningful. So it will be the man in brown uniform sold the tickets. The child with thick glasses read a book. The beggar in torn shoes has a bag. The trunk that was made of gold lay next to my bed. The boy in new clothes bought a dress. Those monkeys with long tails ate
bananas. The ship carrying crates sunk in the storm carrying crates. Now come to D. Here we have to use this substitution to make eight meaningful sentences. Like I am telling you one with the help of that you can make other sentences like Mother and I went to the market. Like this, you can frame other sentences. 